In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to do a regression or curve fitting using the TI-84. Um, the purpose of a regression is to construct a rule or a formula that best explains the observed data. Uh, so in general, what we try to do is we try to find a relationship that's going to fit most of our data. It may not fit every point in our data, but it's going to fit most of our data. All right, now for this uh, video, we're going to be using a built-in feature of the TI-84, and it's called the Quick Plot and Fit Equation. All right, and what it allows us to do, it allows us to import a picture into our graphing calculator and then drop some points rather quickly onto um, any curve that we might see in the picture. All right, and then it will automatically do the regression, and we will choose what type of regression, be it a linear regression, or a quadratic regression or a quartic regression, we will get to choose the type, um, but then the calculator is going to perform that for us. So first off, we need to pull um, one of our pictures into our coordinate plane. So I'm going to do second format, all right, and my menu is going to come up. I want to change the background, so I'm going to arrow up because I'm going to get there quicker, all right, and hopefully at this point you've already pulled images into your calculator. There are some automatic images that are automatically stored in there. I'm just going to use one of those images. Um, I think I'm going to use this one right here. It's a nice little drinking fountain. It shows a uh, quadratic right there in our picture. So I'm going to select that by hitting Enter. All right, then I'm going to go to my graph. And what that does is it just takes that picture and uses it as the background in our coordinate plane. All right, now I'm ready to get some data. All right, I'm going to have the calculator, I'm going to drop some points along this curve. That's going to serve as my data. That's the data that the calculator will use to calculate the regression or calculate the curve, the equation of the curve of that parabola. So I'm going to hit my stat button and it comes up with a menu. I'm going to need to arrow over to get the calc. All right, now in here you can see in the REG there's your different types of regressions that we could do. I'm going to arrow up one because that will get me there faster to get to the quick plot and fit equation. That's the one I'm going to choose. So I'm going to hit enter. All right, now what comes up? It immediately comes up a little flashing cursor right there in the middle. All right, but it's asking me to drop some points along my curve. Now, if I'm only going to drop one curve on this picture, well, you can see it's blue, the curve and everything will be in blue. If I was going to maybe put two different, do two regressions on this same picture, I might want to change the style. You have to change the style before you actually start. So the styles in the bottom right hand corner of the screen means I'm going to hit the graph button right there to get to it. All right, you can see blue here is clearly um, selected, but I could arrow to the right and pick red or black or whatever other colors that I have in there. All right, so let's go back. I'm just going to stick with blue on this one and press enter. All right, um, but you do have to choose that style before you start start dropping your points. Okay, now for a linear uh, regression, you only need two points. For a quadratic one, technically you only need three points. All right, and then so forth and so on. The more complicated curve you do, the more uh, points you need. Okay, but I'm going to uh, do, I'm probably going to do more than three. Um, and Obviously, I'm doing this on an emulator and a computer screen, so it's going to be kind of slow for me to arrow around to get that little blinking cursor onto where I need it to be. But you want to try to get those points as accurately on the spot that you need. Once you get it where you want it, you're going to hit enter, all right, and then you're going to drop another point. So I've dropped one point, and now as I move off that, you can see it in blue. All right, but like I said, when you are doing this with your actual calculator, this will be much faster. We'll let it catch up there a little bit. Go over to the curve. When I said you only need three for a quadratic, that's accurate. Um, I definitely would try to maybe put one where my max point was and then one on each side as opposed to just any random three points. but it is extremely slow on the emulator here for me to get around to drop those points. You should not have that type of problem at all when you are doing this on your actual calculator. I think I passed that just a little bit. 
Let's maybe go up just a little bit. You really do want to take your time and be as precise as you possibly can on placing those points. All right, now technically I've got three points there. I could probably stop, but I'm going to do one more on this left-hand side of the parabola just to make sure that my curve is as accurate as possible. Let's go over a little bit farther. Okay, maybe right about there. All right, hit enter. All right, so I've definitely got enough points on there. I think I can stop now at this point. All right, in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you're going to see fit equation. All right, so now I'm ready to hit graph, which will give me that selection. All right, and then my menu is going to come up with all the different types of regressions that I can do. Since I clearly can see that this is a quadratic, I'm going to want to select three from that menu. So I'm going to arrow down, select three, and hit enter and then it will do the regression. Now, if I think this is a really, really good fit and I want to store the results, I can store them. If I did not want to store it at this point, then I could, and I'll, after I store that, I'll go through and show you how to erase and start over. Okay, I may be a little high right there, so doing it a second time and picking points, maybe not taking that vertex quite so high might be a good idea. All right, but for just for the demonstration purposes, we're going to go ahead and store this. As you can see up there in the top of the screen, you do see the equation right there. Um, it's coming up asking me to store, so if I hit graph again, this is where all of the information is going to be stored. It's going to put my X coordinates in L1. It's going to put my Y coordinates in L2. It will put um, my scatter plot set up in plot one and it's going to store the equation in y1 alright if you were to just do one then you're fine you could hit ok and everything would be stored where it needs to be if you want to put a second equation on the same picture you would probably select it in red so that it shows up a little bit differently and then when you go to store it you would need to store your x's say in l3 because l2 is already taken then you would want to store your y coordinates maybe say in l4 your plot in plot 2 and your second equation in y2. Okay, so just keep track of where you are storing things if you are storing more than one equation per picture. Alright, so I hit enter, it redraws it and puts everything in nice. Now that equation and those points are going to stay on there until I clear them out. Alright, let's go into the y equals screen. Alright, and right there you see the equation. All right, and clearly we know it's a, a was a quadratic, so there's x squared, and it's upside down, so there's the negative. If I needed to see the entire equation, I could arrow over and continue until I see the entire equation. So that last point, 7.824 looks like. All right, now, um, let's say that I need to clear this out for whatever reason. All right. I'm going to go second y equals or stat plots. All right, now in here, it stored my stat plot information in plot one. Okay, you can see there I've got three plots and it clearly says it's on. It's in blue and I'm using L1 and L2 for that set of data. Okay, now if I turn that off, and that's the only way to turn it off and to get the points to go off the graph. So at this point, if I just select a four, Tell it plots off. Okay. Now, when I go back to my graph, the equation is still there, but the dots, points that I dropped on the graph are gone. All right. Now, if I want to get rid of the graph, because maybe I didn't like it and I want to go and do it again or whatever, then I'm going to go into y equal and I would need to clear that equation out and then go back to my graph. Now everything is gone. Okay. So that's how you clear things out. If you make a mistake in there and you need to plot new points and do it again you're gonna to have to clear your stat plot and your y equal equation out to start over alright and then just be sure if you are doing more than one curve on a picture then you're using different colors and you're storing them in different locations um, that pretty much sums up everything you can do with your uh, regression or curve fitting uh, feature that is built into your TI-84 if this was helpful go ahead and give me a thumbs up and be sure and share with your friends thanks for watching